How far in advance should you arrive for your destination wedding? Hold on, I'll tell you about that. Hi, this is Jack with Vacation Ease, and I'm here to talk to you about something I've been getting a lot of questions in. When should I arrive if I'm a bride and groom for my destination wedding? It's actually fairly easy but confusing. In your wedding contract with the resort, it's probably going to say whatever the resort's requirements are, and that's the important thing. So there are two issues. One is if it's a symbolic wedding, and one if you are doing a legal wedding. Now, my experience is if it is a legal wedding in Mexico, Jamaica, the DR, wherever it is, most of the resorts are going to want you there three to five business days. And that's the important business days prior to your actual wedding ceremony date. Um, but again, I would reconfirm this with the team at the resort. Now, if it's a symbolic wedding, what we typically see is that the resorts want either two to three business days. Again, business days. Some of the resorts just say two to three days before the wedding. But I think you really need to clarify that before you make your reservations for your room stay with us or your travel professional, you understand what the resort's going to require. Now, my general rule is this, outside of what the resorts tell you, every bride and groom should be at a resort at least two days before the majority of their guests get there. Now, why do I say this? Because A, it gives you time to, one, meet with the wedding team and understand what your selections are, look at all your options, look at what plan B space is, make sure everything is exactly how you want it. You have time to breathe before all your guests are there wanting you to entertain them. The second thing is it gives you the ability to get the lay of the land, know the resort, go to some restaurants, taste the food, look at the bars, maybe find a place that you really want to sit by a pool or by the beach. So when your guests get there, it's like, hey, welcome home, I've been here, I can give you some advice versus just exploring with them. Um, the other thing is, again, it's very important, I think, that you communicate with the wedding planner as you get close to your arrival date as to when you're coming, let them know, schedule a meeting with them. Make sure it's just not, hey, I'm here. I really advise our clients to communicate that so that when they come in, the wedding planners may be meeting them in the lobby or they have a defined meeting time versus trying to do it last minute when you get there. Now, the other thing is, um, when should you leave? Now that's another question. We find that most of our weddings are four night stays, four to five night stays for the guests. And what I always tell the clients is look, if you're the bride and groom, you definitely want to spend as much time with your friends and family. Have your wedding um, ceremony, your reception, maybe spend another day there hanging out with everybody afterwards and enjoying the night. And then after that, maybe a day after that, if you're going to extend your stay, let's not stay at that resort. Let us work with you to move you to an adults-only resort and actually combine your overall trip with a honeymoon at a different resort. Now, periodically, some of our clients will want to stay at the host resort. It's a great idea also, but I really like the idea if you're having a wedding at a family-friendly resort of moving our clients to an adults-only resort. But again, just in summary, I think that what you will find is most resorts are going to want you between two to five business days prior to your wedding ceremony date to be there. And I think it's very important that if that's what they say, you actually listen to what they say because what you don't want to do is have them try to cram in all your meetings the same day when your guests are coming and you're trying to check in. I think you really want to have this as stress-free as possible. So get there the two to five days that they're advising enjoy your wedding enjoy your trip and hopefully this information is helpful do me a favor and subscribe to the videos and i do post new videos every tuesday thank you again for watching